Hi everybody. Good morning. It's uh, a very strange timing because normally this time I would be sleeping. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for joining me um, in the morning because um, yeah, last night I had training. I, I had an online like a webinar training so I couldn't it was a uh, European time, so I had to be there um, until like 9-ish p.m. So I couldn't do anything. Like I couldn't, I, I don't think I should stream because then, you know, I would be so tired uh, because it was just straight after work. Um, like it wasn't even like after work because I, it was like, um, yeah, there was like one hour that they had to take the work uh, from the work timing and then, uh, yeah, so it was not easy, okay? So that's why, um, yeah, that's why I decided that, okay, I, I'm gonna have to change the timing a little bit. So let me just adjust um, the focus and exposure so that you guys can see what's happening uh, on on the photo, I mean, on, on the screen. So yeah, just hold on for a minute. Uh, how's everyone in the morning? <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, just a little bit of a background on uh, what I'm doing, like why we are doing this. Um, <clears throat> because we like to try out different um, shop. Uh, we like to try out different color combinations and um, watercolor. Hey, housewoman! Hi, good morning to you. Hey, hey, hi, 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 housewoman. Thanks for joining. Uh, yeah, I. I'm so happy you come and join us. Said, like um, last week you were here, right? And 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 you join us again. So thank you so much. Um, how's life? How's everything? Have you started? Like, did you try painting just a small little bit, um, for yourself? And hello, Nancy. Hi. Oh, I forgot. It's evening. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a Friday evening. So normally I will do it on a Friday morning, but because as I said, right, I was not around because I had a webinar at in European time. So I, I, I couldn't do like the live stream after that. Hey, Greg, holy, holy, hey, hello. So I believe we wouldn't have the people from Europe because it would be like their morning, like their early morning, like 4 a.m., 3 a.m. Yeah, <laughs> so it's just you guys, people from the States, like, um, like uh, accompanying me uh, to, to, you know, for, for my new challenge, for today's challenge. So um, as I said, right, we, we have always, we have been trying out different colors, color schemes. Um, and for this month, it is uh, monochromatic. So what that means is that um, I, we will only have one colors, uh, one colors, one color, um, and that is the uh, ultramarine blue. And because ultramarine blue falls in the blue violet, um, kind of a, the, the, the side of the um, hue angle. So you could use any of those um, blue violet that you wish. So you, you know, you can use uh, um, ultramarine blue deep, this one, right, ultramarine blue light. And there are other ones that you can try on, like the specialty ones. And then we, we also allow uh, white and, and black. So it's like, you know, really blue, <laughs> kind of. Oh, Nancy says, yes. And on the community post, you said on the 20th. So I was wondering what is on a Friday. Papa said, explain it, sort of. <laughs> oh yeah, so it was 20th on Saturday for me. Um, <clears throat> but because we are faster, so we are like kind of ahead of, of you guys, right? Hello, Kathy. Hello, yo. So yeah, as I said, like, like we are on, I'm, I'm, uh, it's currently like 20th morning, right? And then, um, but because we are ahead, eight hours ahead, so it becomes like your Friday evening. So it's the 19th, but it's on the evening. So <laughs> I hope that that clarifies. But you could go to the, what, what I normally do, right? I do get confused with this as well. So I normally do is I go to Google, I'll just type in, you know, like um, maybe um, uh, plus eight GMT to, you know, your timing. And then like, oh, at this time. So how, what time it would be uh, in, your, in, in, in your area. And that should do the trick. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, yeah, the, this was the flower. I realized I'm really not good at doing flowers. I, I seem to be quite confused. Um, I don't know how many of you have this problem. I, I've seen, I think it's still several of several people have actually posted uh, they are monochromatic flowers already. Um, but for me, I think I, I, I feel like I'm not good at it. Um, in a sense that I'm kind of confused how I should do it, like whether I should um, be more like botanical style. What I love botanical um, style flowers. So if you refer back, like this is when I was trying it out in the botanical style, like manner. So as you can see, it's very, you know, like botanical um, art way. And then I started to like, you know, I think this is me trying to do botanical style. 
And then I started to do like um I don't know loose loose flowers, and it just gets more and more loose. Like I wanted to do botanical style, but I couldn't, so it was loose. Um yeah, I feel like I'm having a problem here. <laughs> like this is also kind of loose. So I don't know. I feel it's just me. Like this was supposed to be non like a botanical, but it became a loose style, and uh, same as this one. Okay. Yeah, and, and this is even worse. So this is a kind of the worst ever. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Housewoman. Is it good? I think it. I think me making it loose makes it good. And I was actually using some interesting ink. I will be reviewing the ink in a while, like in, in my like my typical my normal um, um, you know the full the long format YouTube channel. Um, no, actually, I'll I will be posting a few short format. Uh, reviews of this ink and I'll do one long form at the end um, but this is in fact like what the ink is right and what I, I use the ink in it looks great really oh thanks horsewoman I don't know thank you uh, I try my best okay but I don't think I'm I, I, I somehow in my head I wanted it to look something right but in the end after touching doing the painting and stuff I, I was like mm, uh, <laughs> I just went and do something else which is like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Which is a bit stressful in a way because I, I didn't manage to do what I want to do in it, you know? Okay, and then, um, yeah, so this is today. I, I did a little poll, so I'm going to share with everyone. Okay, so Greg says, I'm sick at least under the weather. I think it's allergy. Oh no, why? Is it because, are you, Greg, are you allergic to Poland? Is it like summertime and flower and flowers are coming out and you are like, mm. <laughs> the Polans are like messing up your, your, your body. <laughs> I know like some people have hay fever and stuff. Oh, 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 oh. oh my hand just stems out. Oh, thank you. And someone said it's kind of depressing. So I, I think it's a depressing version. <laughs> a good thing or a bad thing like how can flowers be depressing but I somehow made flowers seem depressing okay seem to make it depressing so I, I, I don't know uh interesting take huh okay <laughs> so today I will be doing a stair stairway in this place in um, Morocco I, I don't know how to pronounce the name of that place I think it's Kakon 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 I don't know, okay, I don't know how you pronounce that place name. Let me just kind of Google it, okay. Let me just kind of quickly check. Uh, okay, Kakoe. Oh. Okay, it's Ka Cha Chef Kao. <laughs> Chef Kaoen. <laughs> I am so bad. Oh, okay. Oh, just a lot of sinus headache. Oh, no. Drink like lemon. Anyone has like any advice for Greg? But I, I think for sinus headaches, um, just take plenty of, plenty of rest. Um, and then you drink plenty of water, lie on the bed, rest and don't do stuff. Um, yeah, and then take a vitamin C and honey and, and lemon. I think that would be very, very useful. Yeah, try that. Okay. Not like I always get, not like I'm a veteran in this, but... Yeah, I, I guess this is like the um something that, that, that kind of works well for a lot of people. So okay, let me just quickly go and look for my live stream things. Wait, hold on. Is it there? I think it's this one. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly done. So I've just got like little like background on this place. So this is the beautiful um uh location, okay where we are doing this, um, I, I took the reference, <coughs> sorry, reference photograph form. So it's called Chef, Chef, Cha <coughs> Chef Sharon. <laughs> oh, okay. Hot rice back on the forehead does the most. Ah, okay. Yeah, you could, you could. Yeah, that would help too. Yeah, just, just, yeah, stay out, stay out of uh, um, cold and, and try to keep yourself warm and that should work, okay. So this is a, a kind of a, a pop, it's a very famous location. Uh, where everything is kind of, I won't say everything, but most of it is blue. So they call it like, um, it's noted for the buildings in shades of blue, right? <clears throat> it's nicknamed the Blue City. Okay. So, looks really nice. Um, yeah, but you know how Morocco is? It's kind of like infamous. Um, so I look like, look, look, like this, this seems to be what we might be painting, right? Um, 
Yeah, I think they, they had all these, so they said like the culture and then like what they are made from, they're decorated with fruit trees and stuff like that. And they, yeah, and they have all these traditions that's happening. So it's very interesting. So I, I think I heard um, like it's kind of infamous because they say it's kind of dangerous. I, I don't know why, okay. Um, but I would love like one day to see this. A horsewoman says, oh, Greg, try the saline nasal stuff. Oh, the, 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 um, oh, that's the word for it. Uh, how about, like, uh, are you able to get something to, to spray in your nose or something? Okay, okay. So, this is the result of our poll, all right? Any, who, who did, who actually did the poll? <laughs> so, we have two photographs because I was not, I, I, I was not, I found two photos and I think they were, like, really cute. Um, so one is the uh, Joyful Cat, no, Charming Cat and Joyful Kids. So as you can see, Charming Cat um, beats the Joyful Kids by like a lot. <laughs> I don't know how many percent that is. Oh, Nancy did. I'm sure she did. I'm sure she voted for the cat, right? The cat, right? And it's like over there. So it's just a tiny little cat that's over there. So, okay. So today we are painting the um, Joyful, Joyful. <laughs> Charming cat. All right. Okay. So let's go. Let's uh, cut chase. Let's let's start to do something. But before I start, I'd just like to share with you guys like what I've done. Hold on for a minute. Um, just really really quickly. So last night I was just kind of like practicing, right? And I did these two ink sketches. So this is of the the joy the the charming cat. This one over here. And this one is of the Joyful Kids. Um, I did it with the dip pen and I used like the uh, carbon ink, which is this one on here. And I used the Chao Kuro. So this is a super black, uh, black ink on this one. Okay, so there you go. Um, not very different, I think, except that I feel like this is a bit darker. I don't know. It feels like this is a bit more gray than this one. So this is super black. So which is why it's like super black, you know. Yeah, the law is the energy, alright. Yeah, so I, I will be actually using this for some sort of test because as I said, right, I'm actually reviewing. I'm going to review this this ink over here. So I'm going to do a test with this, uh, comparing the carbon black and the chokuro. So yeah, look forward to that view, that that, that uh, video that I have. Um, this ink is super expensive. I think it costs like three times more or four times. I don't know, it's $60. Uh, seventy dollars Singapore dollars, super expensive. Hey Ari, hi, morning Ari. Ari, are you feeling all right? So Ari had um, yeah, I hope Ari is feeling good or better now. And um, yeah, he's um, mom passed. Um, and you're all set. And um, yeah, we hope that he he will get better. Ari will will feel better. Um, in in you know, it's definitely will not feel immediately better, but yeah, time time will you'll get better. So time pass, okay. Oh, you you what office? <laughs> you working right now? Oh yeah, I remember Ari has to work, uh, on Saturday and he's not happy about it. Oh, I wouldn't be. Um, DRGS Pro works on Saturday as well. Um, yeah, so he he kind of has like a shortened like weekend. Um, and and I I can understand you know like you can't really plan stuff and you know how like. Um, a lot of people does those like weekend things like the weekend the uh, uh what do you call that short like weekend getaway but because he works on Saturday morning we can never ever do that um so it is kind of I would say it's sad but it's just that's how it is you know different different people who here works on Saturday who works <laughs> I work okay I know Ari works as well oh today also my time to teach the kids in hotel ah. What are you doing so many jobs at one time? So you're in the office and you are also teaching kids in hotel. What is that your are you doing like some sort of a like a workshop for, for kids um and, and things like that? I hope it's uh, what are you planning to teach the kids? So who are, how many of you works on a Saturday morning? I'm I'm quite happy I don't have to because you know a lot of the shop um you know other sketches um outings are on Saturday and you know how like back when I was like much younger oh that's the office job today the teaching the kids in the hotel okay <laughs> yeah so <clears throat> back in the days when I was still like studying and not going to school Saturday it's the time where I just you know batch at home I would just lie and I would like do nothing and I'll wake up really late 
Um, and then I, I, I realized that Saturday is pretty like w when I started working, I realized Saturday is a very sacred timing, a uh, sac sacred, uh, what is that word? Uh, sacred portion of my life, you know, because you, you've got time to do what you want, you know, and it's there, it's there for you to, to do it. So I, I, after that, um, so now I, I tend to wake up a bit earlier on Saturday so that I could do things, I could go urban sketching, um, and, and things like that. Okay, so I am uh, going to just drop, like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, bring, like, starting up my uh, Apple, my iPad, and we can start sketching right now. So I, instead of doing the, the line work, right, um, I'm just gonna paint. I'm just gonna do a painting instead. Um, yeah. So Ari, what are you planning to 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 teach the kids today? Is it pen color pencil that you are teaching them? Okay. I hope it's there. Oh no. Okay. I, I got to uh, send it to myself. <gasps> oh no. Wait. Hold on. Where is it? Okay, let me just kind of check. So who are, how, what, what, what you guys, I know, I think Ari is one of them who finished the um, flowers. So what about you guys, like who else? Like um, Nancy, what are you going to do hydrangea as well? I remember you said you wanted to do hydrangea. I remembered. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna like just airdrop it to my iPad, um, the reference photograph. Alrighty, okay, then I am going to switch land because I'm using I am using Wi-Fi right now so I hope the land is working lion please work oh oh is it better oh Greg says I don't even I don't even I have a beginning of an idea for my painting yeah <laughs> no one <laughs> How do you find? I think even um um Kathy has already finished hers. Kathy did uh, the flowers at in her backyard, and she used a lot of blue. So I hope you guys look forward to her painting. Um, it's very interesting. I like what she has done. So this picture has like quite a nice. Um, I would say like in terms of composition, it is actually not. It's it's quite good because you you. I mean, I would kind of cut this off a little bit because, you know, this one has a lot of texture, but it does nothing much to the narr narrative. So I would just keep it like maybe like a square format or something. And then you could see like the cat just kind of doing his cat stuff. You know, he's just, you know, <laughs> grooming himself um, in the middle of nowhere. And then you have these like, um, whoops, you have all these like um, windows and stuff. And then you, you have like, people like oh i didn't even know like that is like a window and there's like clothes being hung out um and there's trees like i think they planted stuff and it's like growing from here so i think it's actually good to have like an ipad because it allows you to kind of zoom in to see what's in there and then you have these like plants that's growing in the side which i didn't see okay very interesting i didn't see that oh no i'm going house <laughs> let me drink something <coughs> <coughs> Hold on for a minute. Let me drink my coffee. I think I need my coffee. Hold on. <coughs> so, morning coffee, everyone. My coffee is a cold um, cappuccino. No, it's not cappuccino, sorry. Americano. Right, so it's just coffee with a bit of water. So I, I think I will not use lines. I will just be painting this. Um, and I think it should be okay because um, yeah, I like these kind of things. I feel like this is kind of my style. This is kind of my my territory when it comes to drawing and painting. <laughs> what? You most ask why you're drinking coffee so late? <laughs> because it's the morning. Look, it is like, oh, 8.30 a.m. So, of course, I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> So I think this is like the only time that you actually see me like eat or drink something because you know normally at night when I do the live stream I don't um, and yeah there <laughs> mm. alrighty okay so I'm gonna start so as I said right what I will do is I will be cutting I will be like trimming this down cropping this down um, yeah to the size that I want. 
So I'm gonna do like uh, 16 by 9. No, I don't think so. 3 by 4, 5 by 4, 7 by 7, oh wait. 7, 5, and then I'll do like, uh, yeah, like this. Is it too small? I think something like that, okay? So I'll be doing painting this one this way. So the cat would, I think I would cut off at like the tree here. Okay, so you could actually see some of these, like the, the, the parts of the tree over here. It goes up. Um, you see the, the, the plant and then you see a bit of this like wall and the cat and then you see that it's actually like, so you, you kind of can cut this off so that you remove some of the additional like spaces at the side. So you don't always have to follow um, the reference photograph like if you don't think that it will, it, you know, that's, it, you know, this is like a waste of a lot of space. This is a waste of space so I would just cut it this way. Like I don't know if you guys would do it in another way but this is how I'll do it, okay? And then I will be drawing right now so there's a lot of details over here okay i am um, i hope that the monochrome chromatic would work um here because we don't have a lot i don't even have the red like you see there's the red over here i don't have red color um and then there's all these like yeah i think it'd be nice if i could use maybe some gouache something that goes on top so maybe either gouache or like acrylic or something just to kind of, or, or color pencil, yeah, I might even do that, like just to kind of like decorate, like just color, put some colors in this, because I feel like it, it, it can look nice, but maybe at the end of it, like once I'm done with the, the monochromatic, I would just add some colors to it, so that, that's how it is, okay, that's how I'm doing it. So anyone here thinking of doing out, like doing other stuff, other than like what you have done, like what we are, are doing, like the portrait, who has, who has started on the portrait? So drawing wise, um, I think we just have to like it's not that difficult in terms of drawing. I mean, I okay, I would say it's not difficult. It's it's manageable. Okay, it's not too tough. Um, they're not like too much details. Um, but I think we have to be a little bit. Um, yeah, like I I would still draft it out because you know how, if you don't draft like <laughs> somehow sometimes, um, you know the perspective will all go wrong. You know. And then, uh, voila, that's, that's how it is, okay? So then I'm just gonna uh, draw this part and then I'm gonna have, um, then we have the uh, famous, the, the stair, stairwell, the staircase. I don't know what you call this, staircase, right? So what's up everyone, like, are you all going? Oh, you're going to resume watching tonight. Okay, no problem. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, Ari. Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming on um, just to say hello to everybody. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that, okay? So I hope you have a great working day, working today. Um, and, and yeah, I hope the kids uh, don't give you trouble. No, no, I'm sure the kids are wonderful, angelic and everything. Okay. Bye, Ari. Bye-bye. Yeah, I think the thing about work, like doing this on a Saturday sometimes is like some people are working and you know how Saturday is for most people like they would be having fun. They'll be going out, they'll be waking up late. So I don't know, I mean good and bad. So do you guys prefer this like um, on a normal timing? What are you guys doing on like a Friday evening? Like if not watching me, <laughs> would you be like sleeping um, early or are you like watching, playing games or what do you all do like painting? Or, or, or what else? It's kind of interesting to see. Oh, it's supposed to be out tonight, but headache. Oh, oh no. Are you sure it's not because you want to watch the live stream? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, does, is, that, is that the kind of headache that the Panadol can help? Like paracetamol, acet acet oh, acetaminophen would work? I don't know what you call that, like the OTC, um, over-the-counter uh, painkiller can help with. You know, some people, right, I know some people would just pop, like, um, pills, and then they would, like, just go and, like, do their own, their, like, like go about their normal things. Or is it, like, worse than that, and you couldn't even do that? Uh, yeah, I think it also depends on, you know, um, your... You know what you're planning to do so if you are like going out to bowl or like if you are like catching up in like a um, like a club or something then even popping pills wouldn't help because it's gonna be like kind of draining for you and it'd be better if you stay stay at home and rest eh, 
hi oh okay a little but then they come back oh yeah and you know how like those um otc ones you like especially for for paracetamol you can't really you have that's like a limit to how many tablets you can take so yeah just just make sure like you you don't um, be careful of the limits like don't overdose yourself because it's no laughing manner like meta because i remember when i was in like when i was young there was one occasion where i had to be hospitalized um and i was in um like it was chinese new year and because they i think the doctors were worried that i couldn't take care of myself at home because you know given how chinese new year and everything would be closed and stuff like the doctor said look i had to be admitted just in case um it my my, my sickness got got worse so i was in the hospital um for a while okay and then there was this lady who was like like next door she was just like next to me in the ward and she was water because she had like an overdose of acetaminophen um and she was like she was like yellow in color because i think it's it's really bad for the liver i don't know why she took so many um uh, because i don't know if anyone would try to kill themselves with um uh, with that like it would seem like a horrible death right like having liver fa um, liver failure and everything but yeah, anyway, she, she discharged earlier than me and, and she was still looking yellow. So mm, yeah, no, no laughing manner. Mm -hmm. A horsewoman said, um, I like this time because sometimes I sleep in and miss you. Ah, okay. I remember uh, we kind of reconnected when I was like doing live stream um, where when, when I was like going on uh, urban sketching. Like, I remember it was the, um, uh, what's that one? Um, the Holland Village one. Right and, and and I was like, hey, you have to join us. You're doing interesting stuff, and you go like, oh, <laughs> and, and yeah, kind of forced to. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Like, I think it's also kind of I I feel quite bad because you know, um, when I do it in the evening, a uh, morning sometimes, um, uh, some it might be too early for some people, and then on, on Friday sometimes I don't know if people are working. Most people are probably working, you know. Mm. Oh, and and oh, Greg says. Uh, I also keep getting thunder clap headache whenever I sneeze. Ouch! Okay, that hurts. Okay, so please try not to sneeze. <laughs> keep yourself warm. How does that happen? Like, is it like triggered by like itchy nose? Yeah, try try to, you know, like calm down your nose a little bit. And and Hustleman says I'm a homebody. Yeah, I think I am a homebody too. <laughs> like I I would stay at home. I I hate crowds. I hate it when it's like super crowded. But I like to go to concert, like I'm kind of weird, right? <laughs> and then she says, I use lavender essential oil. Ah, okay, neat on the sinus area. The problem is sometimes I can't tolerate the smell of lavender. Oh, some batches make it worse. Oh, yeah, I think you've got to be really careful when you use essential oil um, because some may be like adulterated and some may come with like really bad, badly, bad batches. So I, I'm not into to essential oil. Um, I used to be, you know, um, but I, I, I since I have not like, yeah, I'm not into it. Um, but I think it does help to make you feel happier. Like if you more relax and things like that. So I, I think it's a good thing. I'm not, not sure if it's too bright for you guys. Can y'all see what I'm doing? <laughs> it's like, oh no, like do let me know if you can't see stuff and it's like bothering you because I think it's a little bit too bright. Gonna reduce the Oh, that's, that's so much better. Like what did you guys tell me? <laughs> So sorry, like you like you guys are like just quietly suffering. <laughs> oh, you can see, nice. Oh, Greg says. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean maybe. Ah, okay, but my oh, your aunt killed herself with acetaminophen. When... <gasps> oh no. Yeah, that's that. That's not the way to go. Like, I think it's the the good way. I mean, I'm not being morbid here, but I think the best way to die. I'm not, it's not suicide, okay, but I'm just saying, like, if it's the best way, if I were to choose, okay, I'm not saying I will, okay, sorry, it's probably popping sleeping pills and then sleeping, <laughs> but yeah, let's just leave it at that, okay, let's not go and perpetuate that, that suicidal ideation or something, okay, nothing, all right, but just saying, uh, oh, and Nancy says, this is usually my quiet time, but I, I prefer now than when it's so early in the morning, oh, of course, <laughs> Yeah, but that would also mean like people who who watch like from Europe can't join us. Like you know, Greg, uh, not Greg, um, um, uh, Paolo and like Chris, 
um, yeah, and and whoever else you know like watches us from from Europe. So that's a good thing and bad thing. Oh, <laughs> okay. And Greg says, I know it's probably hard in Singapore, but benefit to living in small town is going to be really involving crowd. Yeah, that's good for you. It's kind kind of rare. Like it's always crowded. Even beaches, parks are crowded, and especially if it's like you know public holiday if it's so full of people it's so crowded that you wish to stay at home instead <laughs> hello dear james bro hi oh my god you're catching me from uh from work so he's working right now he's catching me from work oh what are you doing skyping off <laughs> what would your patients think <laughs> my doctor is watching a youtuber <laughs> Uh, how is Mr. 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 Husband doing? He's working. <laughs> he's guiding. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure he's having like a whole, like he's having a break, right? Yeah, I I think it's a good thing that he kind of gets sometimes off sometimes when let's say patients don't turn up, he get to like rest. Um, yeah, so there you go. Patient is late. <laughs> Oh, and Greg says, wait, what time is it in Fiji? Where is Zhu Huan? Oh, oh yeah, it is four hours ahead. So it's 2 p.m.? Yeah, it's 2 p.m. Where is Zhu Huan? Oh my god, like you still, you know, he used to be able, I could summon him by just saying, Zhu Huan, Zhu Huan, where are you? And he just comes, but yeah, I guess he's having lunch and you know, it's, it's Saturday afternoon. So you never know, he might be working like Ari, or he might be out. So that's, you know, that's that's how it is. You know, it, it's it's always like a, you know, you can't please, I wouldn't say you can't please, but you can't please everyone's schedule. So it's just that some people might be up, but they might be out because it's a good time, prime time to go out with your friends um, and enjoy the beach. Um, yeah, things like that, right? <laughs> oh, he hates us. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture and show it to him. It's like, oh, Greg is feeling sensitive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> someone says, yeah, just bro, they're playing with Legos. <laughs> yeah, maybe they are. <laughs> no, I think, uh, you know, it's Saturday morning. So, you know, it's kind of, Saturday morning is kind of a peak time for, for patients to come because, you know, they are off work and, and Sometimes they just make their their appointments like well in advance, but sometimes they just realize they just realize that, oh, I have something on, but I have a dental appointment, but no, I'm not gonna come because I have something more interesting to do than dental, and people will just cancel their appointment, so it's it's kind of rough for the the dentist to like how kind of wait for patient and they just don't turn up because they realize that they have something more like important, <laughs> cocked up um like cocked up. <laughs> So they don't come to, to the dentist. Like, oh, <laughs> that's really bad. No, I don't think so. I don't think they get charged. They, they just they just cancel. They just like don't turn up. And sometimes, you know, hospital had to call them. So the clinic calls them um, to kind of check like if they're coming. And sometimes they say yes, but they would just come, sound, 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 they, they would just not turn up. So I think they're really nice. The hospital's really nice. They don't charge them. So yeah, that's not fair, right? Like, how could you? <laughs> Poor dentist waiting for you and you're not there. Oh, uh, don't have the policy. So I think they should, right? Like if you, like, you know, you know, like when we go for facial and like massage. So we do have these like, you know, the uh, massages and the facial that we go. And you, you kind of like need to confirm. Um, like I think even, um, no, I think, uh, yeah, for those kind. You, they, they would they would need you to kind of like um, they would tell you if you don't make it like if you tell us you're not gonna come like last minute you don't give us enough time we'll charge you like 10% you know so most of the time we would be kind of serious about it and yeah and make sure we turn up because otherwise we would just the money's gone for no reason you know but I don't know why the hospital's not doing it I think you should do it <laughs> if you get a lot of people like not turning up uh, for for your for appointments, that's something that you should do. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no, not dentist, hospital I have to go to mine. I've been putting it off almost a year. You should go because I think, um, they, you know, it's very important, uh, to be. I mean, I'm I'm not. 
<laughs> yeah, Jasper will scold you for not going. Like, he'll be like, no, look at you. Like, how can you not go? Like, you're supposed to come. <laughs> if anything happens to you, it's not, it's because you never come for the review. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay, Greg says, my mom always did. Like, it got so bad, she tried to people charging them the total amount of their appointments for missing. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> what does a mom do? Is she a dentist or she's a doctor? Um... I, I know how, you know, um, I don't think my doctor, like any doctor do, does that to me. I, I don't always go to the doctors. And in fact, you know, if we have public hospitals and in our public hospitals, it's very hard to get appointments. So people usually would like go because if they miss it, they are going to have to like go back and requeue, um, like from the whole system. You know, like in a public hospital, I don't know if you have a public hospital. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. You won't scold. Oh. oh, she's a massage a therapist or she works with a doctor. Yeah, I feel like as massage therapists, they, they, they tend to do that more. They, they, would, they would charge you. Like, I've been to a few where they would charge you if you don't turn up. And it's just, um, I mean, I don't think it's bad. Like, but I just feel like sometimes if, if you got to be like really, like for me, I will feel really stressed. I think this is badly written, like drawn. I'm going to have to like draw this down a little bit. So I have to redo this, people. I'm so sorry. I have to redo this a little bit. Yeah, I feel like I should draw it closer. So sorry, people. Yeah. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, oh, okay. Um, Hosswoman says, a, a medication my doctor put me on for a couple of days has side effect with softening teeth. <gasps> oh, no. I have around 32 cavities to take care of. I stopped taking the meds. Oh, no. What? Oh, that sounds really bad. Okay. Can you like reverse it? Are you able to? I think you should like really get it fixed because I think it, it it's um it really depends on on how you take care um like it's really important to take care of your your teeth because you know they 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 really contributes a lot to your quality of life because imagine if you get like toothache like where as you eat right when you're eating it's gonna make you feel so miserable every time you eat and you eat three times a day you know yeah is it pregnancy alone? Oh no, can you see why I cry when I have to go to the dentist? Ouch. Ouch, I'm so sorry. I, I think you... Mm, yeah, stop the medication, but I think you should follow up. Like, there would be probably very good dentists who would, like, know the, the issue and they would help you with that. Because, you know, if you get cavities, you would... Yeah, you it would be difficult, you know, to, to, to make sure that you kind of get back to the same... Um, uh, your quality of life would be so affected. So I, I think this is like most important. Like I, I also, I mean, I'm not preaching, right? But I take care of my teeth because I don't want to not have teeth. I don't want to have problems eating because yeah, I think eating is a, is a joy of life. <laughs> oh, and Greg says, I just want to make sure I have teeth when I'm old. <laughs> don't do one dentures yeah i mean i guess if you have no choice then you have to wear dentures they kind of work as well um and you i mean you could also do like implants implants kind of like a kind of a, a good way like to to get your teeth back oh okay oh no okay that's really bad yeah but i i'm sure if you if they, the dentist would, would be able to help you with that or like you could um, get I don't even I'm not even sure if you get get implants yeah but I'm, I'm so sorry for you like that you have to like go through the pain and, and the cavity and everything but like it, in you know before it gets really bad I think it's important to to just get it checked out like just go once or twice like just tell them that this issue and I know like a lot of people, I know from the RGS Pro that a lot of people are dental phobic and they're just scared to go to the dentist. Um, but they don't bite you, so <laughs> just go, just go, right? Um, yeah, it's for your own good, it's for your health and, and for, for your, your quality of life. Okay, oh, oh, they have a glass action. What lawsuit because of the cavity doctors and dentists didn't know? <gasps> Oh, so it's a it's a, like a new like a um kind of a special special like a uh what do you call that something that they discovered, and they all like they're hiding. Oh no, that would be bad. Like why would they do that? That's horrible. But uh, yeah, 
it's 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 just something that um, is unfortunate but mm. oh okay okay you have one third done yeah just 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 continue with that i feel like it's important to do all these things um yeah because that's gonna affect your your your, your life you know your standard of living yeah there you go all oh, the drop has been around a while okay it's just like the um you know the famous infamous uh teledromite is it teledromite the one where the the pregnant ladies um like back in the 60s the pregnant ladies take these um medicines um, to for like health for their their like supplement for their pregnancy and it turned out that it, it's like like it's a ter teratogenic thing um, and the babies grew up like grow like um they had like no they, they had deformed hands like limbs um, so I think it was like a very big issue it was it you know it was it was really really bad that that was that was horrible horrifying um yeah and i don't know like i feel like there would have been a lot of laws you know um like they, they had to like sub supply all this information so the reason why i know so much is because i work in the um like kind of an fda in singapore and we we, we have all these like case studies and, and and things like that so yeah they should they should let you yeah teledonite yeah that's right so it's it's really bad like i feel i don't know if you guys like know anyone who's affected Oh yeah, they, they started to use it somewhere else. But I think probably not for pregnant women. Definitely no no for pregnant women. They could actually use it for some other purpose. I forgot what it's, it's currently being used for. Um, yeah, but I, 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 I think they have to... It's very important for the companies to, to make sure... Like to just make sure when... Like the, the patient safety is the utmost importance when it comes to making medications. Um... And, and like not not letting people know of such a side effect is, is really is really horrible ah uh, well there you go so that's about um uh, like my world you know my world of um, manufacturing <laughs> drug manufacturing and drug development um yeah let's go back to drawing so as you can see i am just so slowly getting the perspective correct. Like I know how some people would actually draw lines and stuff. Like they would actually draw these kind of like guiding lines, but I don't. What kind of pen I'm using? I'm actually using pencil. So this is a, a blue light. I have this like really light. This is called the Uni Mint Blue. Um, it's a kind of a colored lead and it, you can fully erase it. Uh, there you go. So I use it because you know how um, these like the graphite ones, they tend to like dirty like it does i have a bit of blue but i think it's okay like it does not make the whole sketch very um like black it doesn't make it like dirty dirty is dirty the word <laughs> um yeah it doesn't make it bad so i think it's it's really it's, it's good in a way um and then i could if i were to just be really lazy and not erase this i think it's also fine like i feel like it's also okay um, to leave the blues in there because it's very light and um, and I, I think it's also related to like the, the if you um, uh, photocopy like if you scan this and you apply some sort of filter to it you could also re just remove it without like from the, the digitally you could remove it digitally digitally without um, having to like like erase it like it could be removed um, with, the, with the scan so yeah, it's so much things that you can do with this pencil. <laughs> okay, Greg says, um, I have a 2mm clutch pencil and got colored leads to go with it. But the colored leads, oh yeah, I hate it when the colored, like, but I, 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 my only complaint, my complaint with this lead, it is, it's, it's so soft. So sometimes it, it breaks. Um, and I, I think they wear down so, so quickly. That I, I'm so scared that I'm actually finishing it, so I went to get new one. So can you see, I actually got this one like last year, and I'm really finishing finishing it, so I, I got a new one. And like, the graphic ones seem to just last forever. Like I got this one, um, this, um maybe a bit earlier, and I still got so many! <laughs> so I, I think that the, I, I, the only complaints I have about this um, color, let this, it, it wears down, it, it just goes like really, really quickly. So you have to just keep yeah changing it 
But it's really nice though, in a sense that I, I think it feels like, you know, you, you have a, like a little thing here. Yeah, there's very little smudging. So it's really good in a sense. There's a bit of smudging, but it's not that bad. Like I hate it when it smudges and then you get like the colors everywhere. And then when you erase it, you sometimes can't erase it properly if it's like the, 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 the color is too strong, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, and the RGS Bros give us the reason why Subboson, Subboson, Sub, su, su, Subason, Subason is how it's done. Oh, it's letting it dissolve in the mouth releasing. Uh, the releases the acid that leaches out the calcium from teeth structure, weakening teeth, making them more prone to decay. Ow, oh, similar to holding carbonated drinks in the mouth. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think it's it's recent. Like, I think it when probably when you were given the medication, they didn't know that there was such a side effect. But I don't know why. Like, is it a very old drug? I'm not sure if it's a very old drug because if it's really old, then, you know, it could be that, like, if it's very old, then there's no way they could tell people that they didn't know because they would have done, like, tons of stuff with it already. So I, I don't know why they withhold the, the, this information. Yeah, but if it's a new drug, then, 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 well, I mean, it's just that they, no one knows that this, that's an effect, and it's just something that's really unfortunate. But they actually, you know, for every new drug, um, the companies do have to go through a lot of clinical trials. So they, they're supposed to be good, you know, they're supposed to, I wouldn't say good, but at least tested. And they have to make sure that they, they, they kind of account for all these things that's happening. Oh, yeah, I think that's also like I, I'm at an itch, itch where I am starting to worry about my health um, because I, I have been having some like play pain in my arms and my, 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 my thigh, my thigh, right thigh. Yeah, I, I think when I run, I sometimes get like really bad, like sometimes I get cramps. Um, yeah, so I, I am just starting to have like feel like I should take better care of myself. So I think last my last week or so, was it last week or the week before? Um, I signed up with uh, with a, 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 a gym. So <laughs> I'm hoping to go to the gym more often. So I don't know if any one of you are going to the gym and, and any one of you are like are actually uh, in a season of your life where you are kind of taking care of your, your, your health. Trying to take care of your health better. I know poor Greg is sick. Right? Like the whole thing, whole thing discussion about health and, 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 and stuff. It's because Greg is not feeling well. Um, yeah, but I think this is also the season of my life where I'm starting to just kind of feel like I need to take care of myself better. Because, yeah, I'm starting to feel like the, 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 my, my, my uh, joints not working well. I'm getting muscle aches and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, and the RGS Pro says, oh, I don't really give this kind of medication. Yeah, and Greg says, the human body is so complex. It's feel to me like a layman, impossible to text all the possible side effects. I feel like I can't trust any new medication. Oh, you work out. Oh, nice. That's really good. Like, I don't use weights at all. Like, I never. I, 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 can't, I can't understand. When I go to the gym, the only thing that I do, like, I mean, now I change my mind. Okay, I, I think I changed the way I think. Oh, should we? Can I ask if you guys? Okay, bye, the ideas, bro. His his patient's probably here. Oh, and 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 <laughs> and Hosuma's gonna see her her chiropractor soon as well. Okay. Yeah, bye DRJS bro, see you later at home, and yeah, okay, enjoy, I mean, I would say enjoy, but I hope you have a good session with the chiropractor, um, I think it's really important to, to take care of your health. So should we move the cat to here? <laughs> because I feel like I don't really have much space over here for the cat, but it's kind of a lot of space here, so I might just do the, do the cat here, because I want him to be kind of featured, okay, I'm gonna put a kitty cat here, okay, yeah. So, yeah, what, what is about, about, oh, you do walking. Yeah, I think walking is good. Like, have you seen videos? Have you guys seen videos where people do like 10,000, 20,000 steps? Like, I've been thinking of it, doing it, you know, um, for, for, I think it's an easy way to clock steps. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, move the cat. I'm going to move the cat. The cat is going to be moved here. I'm going to like highlight the cat because... You know, <laughs> it says like charming cat, so it has to be like the highlight. 
So yeah, I, I, I've been seeing all those videos and people are saying how good walking is. Like anyone here does cardio, I, I don't really, I, I love cardio. So if I go to the gym, I rarely do weights because I don't know how to do it. I have no idea how to use um, all those machines and stuff. Um, yeah, so I, I, I never do weights. I think it's it's bad because I feel like my muscles, I can't do a single, I can't do anything. <laughs> my muscles so weak, I can't even pull. Okay. Ooh, okay. And Greg says, I walk every day, 2.5 miles for your dog. So for your dog, ooh, that's nice. How do you find time to walk so much? Like I, I don't even have time to, to run. So I, I think DRJS Pro is also, like he's also kind of like, he, take care, he takes care of himself quite well like every day um, if it's not raining Singapore is always good for raining it's always raining right um, <laughs> like all Southeast Asian countries like I would be walking um, quite a lot um, and I oh, know sorry 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 <laughs> green one I'm so sorry I didn't know what I'm talking about so DRGS Pro would actually uh, run he would try to do jog he would try to jog every day and he would do like pull-ups and sit-ups and stuff in the park Right, but I think the most you could do is probably like like three km. I don't know how that is in in miles. Could mile at one km is two point five miles, so it's about two km kind of. Um, yeah, and 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 we would do that in the evening, and then we have dinner after that. So for me, I tend to do. I try to do as much as I can, but sometimes I work like late because I don't go like I you know in Singapore like at least for me my work. I had to, I, I work 9.5 hours every day. So, you know, some people like 9 to 5, but I work from like 8.30 to 6. So when I, you know, when I get home, it, it's pretty dark and it would be kind of weird to walk in. You know, in Singapore, the time, like we, we had sunrise at the same time, <laughs> like always have, we always have sunset and sun, sunrise about the same time. So sun, sunset is about 7. So when I reach home at about 6, 6 plus, um, and change and get out time would have like it would have been so it would be dark right and then I I don't know like it feels so weird to run at night so I mean it's not un that is unsafe Singapore is very safe but it's just that it's just kind of weird and then plants will be giving out like carbon dioxide so it's not a good time to run I used to do a lot of running at night but I feel like it just doesn't have the same thing feel um, as like walking, as, as like running in the daytime. So I want to draw the kitty cat here, right? Um, so which is why I, I, I tend to, like if I get, if I had come back early, I would join the RGS Pro. But if not, then, you know, I wouldn't. So I recently, as I said, joined the gym so that I could do some weight lifting because I am so bad. Like, I feel like my muscle is just so atrophied. Atrophied. <laughs> atrophied. <laughs> Oh, and wait, Nancy says she has a manual treadmill in the bedroom. Oh, nice. So you could actually just start walking, right? Yeah, Hosoman, you're right. We always have like 12 hours sun and 12 hours dark. Like it's year round because we're in the equator. So it's just, you know, like, yeah, it's in, in the equator. So, you know, even if the sun tilts, you know, it just kind of, we, we get a bit more, a bit less, but it's about seven all the time. So. In Singapore or like in Southeast Asia, time kind of stands still. Like if you if you come to Singapore in April, and you come to Singapore like um if in in Singapore, um December winter would feel the same as summer like like June. It would there's no snow, there's nothing. It's just hot and it's rainy, it's humid, hot and it's raining. So it's just that. <laughs> I don't know why would you like it. I I. I pretty much prefer, um, I think even Ari agrees, like we people in Southeast Asia would prefer getting some sort of like seasonality because you feel like time, you would, you know, it would help you feel like time has passed because if you are always at the same time, like you would not know, like time would just stand still. Every day feels the same. <laughs> you wouldn't feel like life has, like you guys have like summer, spring, summer, autumn, autumn, winter and stuff. And Greg says he would die in Southeast Asia. I think you would. <laughs> like, as a Southeast Asian, <laughs> I feel like dying every day. <laughs> it's so hot. Every day it's hot and it's humid. Um, and it's so crowded. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, he's a big cat. Like, I try. <laughs> he's really big right now. 
<laughs> he used to be really small, but, but so I, I, I'm just gonna draw it such that it feels like he's really close by, so it's really big. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and Gre and Greg says that it's still less than seven k step though. Ah. Okay. It's okay. I think at least at least you clock at least like like five seven six point five is good enough. Maybe if you feel like it on weekends, you could do more, like do two rounds, then it would be like 10, 10 thousand steps. Your dogs would love it too. And Horseman says, lifting light weights for women is good too. I will look into that again. I don't use machine, just small weights. Yeah, yeah, I do that actually daily um, with tiny weights. Um, but I feel like I'm just working my arms, which is not enough. Like I got to work my legs and like parts of my body and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and Greg says, I am a fast walker. It takes about like 40 minutes. Oh, oh, oh you walk your dogs, at, your dog at night during the summer because it's sensitive to, to heat. Anything above, ooh, what? 77.25? He's such a, he will, <laughs> he, it will be too much for him in, in Singapore because we are always at least like 30 degrees Celsius. <laughs> at night, we might like, we might get like down to 25, but... Most of the time, we are above, like we are 28. And it's like so hot. I think your dog will not survive in Singapore. I'm so sorry. I mm. also <laughs> would say I would love that. Like, we would love to have like the time, like the half-half, okay? And Greg says he will die in safe Southeast Asia. <laughs> Our husband says the cold and the weather change makes me hurt. Yeah, I, I, we call this like um, runitis. Um, like um, arthritis, like in Singapore, in Chinese, they call this like feng shi. So feng shi means like when it gets cold, when it gets like wet, like if it rains, like the joint will hurt. So that's that's what a lot of like people would, would get, you know, it's it's common, it's common. And oh, Kevin says fishing in Alaska in the summer was fun. It never got dark. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the very interesting thing. Okay, hold on. Eh? Ten wind to the rescue. Okay, there. So, um, as I'm saying, um, in in I was in uh, we were in no uh Norway back in like DRGS Pro and I were in Norway, uh, two a few years back, and it was like summertime. So it never got dark. Like it it was like eternally. It was like just summer all the way. Crazy, right? Like not summer. It was just daylight. And then like uh when it was I remember I I had I woke up at like twelve a.m. And, and I will stay a bit later just to see how it feels to have light at 12 a.m. and 1 a.m., you know. It just feels like it is 7, 7, like, you know, dusk, dusk, dusk. And, and it's so cool. Like, it's so super cool. Um, I think you guys have to go there to kind of, like, um, feel it. It's just so different. Ah. Huh. Oh, Alaska mosquito must be fun. <laughs> oh, I never noticed. Do you have to wear, um, like, do you have to use a mosquito repellent? I think it's something that's important. Oh, wait, I realized I have the ultramarine stick from Daniel Smith, so I'm not going to try using it. Just hold on, let me bring my ultramarine um, blue stick from Daniel Smith. Okay, that okay? Yeah, I think I like the sketch too. <laughs> Should we leave it as line and wash or something? I don't know how that's gonna work. Like, I would, like, should I? Should I do line and wash? <laughs> Anyone, I, like, can I get a consensus? Should I do line? Like, should I use the pen? Like, should I use my... Oh, I have to get it though. Uh, should I use my dip pen on it? And then I'm like, paint over? Like, hey. <laughs> do let me know, okay? Um, one for one for line and wash, two for watercolor. Oh, and and Hossman says, but it's dark all winter in Alaska. So if it's dark, you go back. <laughs> so I think it's always nice to have like two a few places to like kind of move to. Two watercolor, okay. 
So one is for deep pen, two is for watercolor, like 100% watercolor. One! Oh no! We have a tie! <laughs> and Catherine says, that's why we go to Kath um, go there in summer, right? When there's no sun, there's no ice, there's no, not too cold and not so dreary. I think it, if you are staying really close to the north, you, you get very extreme. Like you get like tons of sun sometimes and you get tons of, you don't get sun at all. It's just so weird. <laughs> and uh, Greg says, there is a store near me where they sell Daniel's music for less than 10, but it's kind of weird. They still make you wear masks. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, if it's, well, I, I think it's, it's, Okay, I would, I would, I don't mind wearing masks actually. Oh, thanks, Greg. Yeah, I tried. So this is the this is the ultramarine, um, blue. I think this is from Daniel Smith. If I'm not wrong, okay, I think it's from Daniel Smith. So we have a tie, Kathy. Uh, who else around who wants to uh just like um, you know, uh, make a vote, make a vote because now we have like equal. So it's it would be hard. Like, um, oh wait, hold on, I have a Polish thingy. Start a poll, all right. Should I did, oops, did pen or just watercolor? Okay, so one is dip pen. Oh, there, darn. Okay, and the other is watercolor. All right, so start poll. Everyone poll it. The poll is on. I'm uh, gonna just enjoy my coffee while I wait for the poll. Mm. Okay, it's 50-50. <laughs> oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Now Greg says, I think mask wearing is more normal thing in Asia. In Asia, in, in US, no one wore it before COVID. I'm still seeing it like a COVID is, oh, so seeing it still is like COVID is over. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, right? I think it's just you and Nancy. <laughs> the poll is the same. <laughs> oh no, we have four poll. Actually, we have four votes. And it's still 50 50. Flip a coin. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you still wear yours. Oh, Nancy still wears hers. I think it's important if you are like kind of susceptible, like if you have like respiratory issues, and I think it'd be important to actually drink it. I'm mean, sorry to wear your mask. Okay, I'm gonna flip a coin because the poll does not work. <laughs> or should I throw a dice? I don't have a dice. I'm gonna flip a coin in a while. I'm gonna come with a coin. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys Singapore coin. Yay! You hear the coin jiggling, jiggling, jiggling in the background. I'm gonna come with a 20 cent coin. Hey, I'm back. Oh no, I still know nothing. Okie dokie. All right, so we have four votes and it's 50 50. So we have the coin. We're gonna flip it. So this is a 20 cent coin, Singapore 20 cent coin. And this, this structure over here, this one is our is the Changi Airport. So this is the airport, Terminal 1, this one. Ta okay, and then um, this is the back, so it's our crest, okay? So heads, this is heads, heads and tails, heads and tails, okay? So this is the head. Um, yeah, it's pretty. So this is the Changi Airport. So the head is uh, one, okay? The tail is two. Alrighty. Oh, Nancy says she she has respiratory problem that's required in San Diego. Yeah, I do. So in Singapore, we are it's not mandatory, but then uh, everyone in a hospital would be wearing it, like a clinic, hospital, uh, polyclinic. There would be people wearing it. Um, so I would try to wear it because I feel like if they are protecting you, I should protect myself from. I, I should be protecting them from me. So I feel like mask wearing is very much you protecting other people unless you're wearing like n95 masks if you're wearing n95 masks then you're protecting yourself but if you're just wearing a normal mask you're protecting other people from me so reason for me like not having like wearing masks is like i have two reasons for other than protection um the two reason is firstly 
um, it it protects me from the sun, <laughs> so I don't get like I, I wear on my face, right? So I don't get like like I could go out with a bit of sunscreen and I wouldn't get like burn. Second reason is I could like kind of blend in to the background so people don't recognize me. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I sound so I sound so uh anti-social okay so i'm gonna flip i don't know how to flip a coin so okay i'm just gonna like uh whoa oh it's the head it's okay should i should i do it three times okay i'm gonna do it three times okay just just to be um like um fair so i don't know how you flip a coin like anyone can teach me how to flip oh i know you do this right like you flip this way okay so i'm gonna Okay, it's a tail, all right. <laughs> no, no, that's not right. I'm gonna just throw it. Oh, oh, it's a head. Okay, so we're gonna do deep pen. <laughs> okay, Greg says, the, as a person of unattractiveness, I vaguely miss the mask. <laughs> pen wins, yay. Uh, wall of famous not sensation, Alice Lee. Yeah, try to uh, <laughs> yeah. It, I just want to avoid people from recognizing me. They might run to me for a signature, for autograph. I mean, <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, sorry for bad jokes. Okay, I'm gonna bring my deep pen. Just give me a moment. Oh wait, I have another. Let's try another deep pen. I have a few deep pens, so maybe I could try another deep pen. I know you know I've been using the uh khaki mori, so I have. Another dip pen. I actually I have two more dip pens. So I have this one. I have this one. So this is uh um Jeanet, the zebra Jeanet. So this one is kind of flexed as you can see, but it's more for like drawing. Okay, so I don't I don't think uh, writing, I'm sorry. So this is um the Horoko Hokoro, sorry, from Sailor. And uh you what? You lost? Huh? How do you lose it? What happened? <gasps> Horrifying! Well, it's very easy to lose these these like things. Like this is so easy to remove, and it it's very easy that you forget it. Like you might just wash, and it just gets like you know, wash into the bit. Like maybe it goes into the sink and and gone. Voila, gone. So I'm gonna use the horoko. Okay, hokoro. Sorry, hokoro. Ah, so hokoro is interesting because you could actually change the nib. So the one that I have here, like this one here, is the fude. So you know how like the fude is like the, the pen that you will get for um, line variation. So I am just going to fix it uh, to the dip pen. So this one here you need to dip. So I, I think this is this is a this is a plastic body. Okay. Um yeah, so let's go. Let's do it. I just need to know, think about which which one? Okay, I'm gonna use the Chokuro. Okay, over here. Chokuro is the one that I will be reviewing. So, I hope it's gonna... It's not gonna... We'll see. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, okay, Greg says I brought... Okay, I'm gonna stop the vote anyway because... Yeah, it's not working. Okay, the poll is a 50-50. Okay, it's 50-50. So, oh, Greg says I brought them to Philadelphia and even though some new ones there, then lost them somewhere between there. <laughs> oh, no. Are they expensive? I they probably not that expensive. I don't know. Like how 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 do you like is it expensive there? I don't think they are. Like depends. Do you do you lose the whole pen or you just lose the nib? Whoops. Okay, I will be drawing right now, so I'm hoping that uh, we would get a, a very interesting drawing today. So I will just I feel like the the horo kokoro is not as um what's that word? That is some sort of A R A S M R A S M R. Can you hear? Like I think I'm I'm a little bit too far. Like the the drawing's a bit too far from um the what's what's that word? Uh from the mic. <laughs> so you can't hear the stuff that's going on, okay? Um, yeah, but problem, I wouldn't say it. I mean, the little problem with this pen is that it's not, it does not, it's not as, um, 
it does not pick up as much ink as the the one um the the, the kaki mori one so i have to like kind of go back to read it more like more frequently okay so it's gonna it's an ink and wash again um because the coins say so okay <laughs> Oh, oh, you get more, less than a dollar or so, still have the nip holder. Oh, that's okay, that's not too bad. Like, I think in the future, you should just get like mm, five at a go or six or like ten at a go, you know. That would be really helpful um, because given like how small they are, it's not, um, I think it's not difficult to understand or like it's not a, it's, it's quite common to have them like lost because they're just so small. You know, so if you like wash them by the sink or something, you gonna have a problem. Okay, okay. You might like if you if you forgot about it, like yeah, it will definitely like it. We we yeah, it's easy to lose them because they're so, so small. Okay, I never lost. I never lose any of them though. Like I think I mm, somehow <laughs> managed to um, ensure that I don't lose any of my nips and pens and stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay. Alrighty. So, 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 so. I'm, I'm quite liking the drawing experience. I, I like to use pens this way. So I, I'm starting to feel like um, I'm probably more a pen person than I am a watercolor person. Um, yeah, it, I just feel like using pen just gives me a lot of joy. I feel like it's um, very tactile. Is that the word? Like it's it's the feedback is there? Like when you are using watercolor, there's no feedback. You know, you, you are just using a brush and that's all. Like if you're using a pen, you feel like you you know you, you are like dragging stuff um across um the 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 the, the uh, paper and you feel like all sorts of feedback. It's just so cool. So that's that's my take about using um, pens and not just watercolor. But I think in, in, you know, as a, as a person who's um, new to, I won't say new, but um, it has always been my wish um, as like an artist to be able to just do watercolor, you know, watercolor, watercolor. Because, you know, I, I'm, I was stuck for a long time just doing um, what I like, which is just ink, you know, like ink and wash. And I'm, I, I, I thought I would never be able to do um, like drawings like like painting like prop just watercolor painting um i took classes and then i i just feel like you know i i just don't don't it's just not for me um but i think the just going doing this like shop this this challenge the limited palette the mixing challenge and stuff that's that's kind of forced me to 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 really just explore like do what uh, learn about like watercolor and just do watercolor yeah and not just be like stuck to one technique so yeah i don't know about this it feels a bit odd should i just use the other one as well okay i'm gonna use the other the the, the bra the the, the the other nip where's the other guy i thought it was here somewhere okay hold on for a minute let me lift out found you okay i'm gonna use the other nip so this is the um the g nip I don't know if it's called a genip. I just call it the zebra nip because that's the. But I think the problem with using the genip with this pen with this ink is the ink is probably not viscous enough. Oh no. Yeah, I feel like it's not viscous enough. Yeah, but I I like the feel. You know the scratchiness of it. Can you guys like? Can you guys go go? Can you all hear the scratchiness of it? I just I think I think it's okay. Like okay. I mean, I have, I thought it would not be okay, like, as in, like, it would not pick up enough ink, but it seemed to actually pick up more ink than the, um, Hokoro, um, the Fude Hokoro. Oh, but, yeah, we're still having problems with some, I should, should I just bring out my, <laughs> my Kakimori? Oh, no, I feel like the Kakimori has spoiled me, in a sense, that I am expecting all the pens to be able to, to hold these inks for so long. What have you done to me, Kakimori? You're making me um, uh, very uh, spoiled. <laughs> like I'm expecting all the inks to be as, as good as, uh, as all, all it depends are to, to be as thirsty as you. Oh man. Okie dokie. 
So that's just me still like doing the painting. Nancy, it's oh I can't ask Nancy what breakfast she's having because <laughs> it is evening. So Nancy, what do you have for lunch for breakfast today? Do you have pancakes? Oh, and then what do you have for for dinner? Poor Nancy always have to share like what she has. <laughs> So now I'm just like kind of sketching, scratching it out. Um, yeah. I'm gonna like do this until I get like really sick of it and I go and take my kakimori and to, to do this. <laughs> Okie doke. So there. It's uh, kind of fun to do all these details here. I feel it's... Um, it does add a lot of color, add a lot of character to the to the to the sketch. So I like um, how these like um, deep pens kind of make your drawing interesting. Oh, I forgot to know. I kind of make sure that when I draw, I draw it properly. So how many of you actually have deep pens other than Greg? Oh, okay. Nancy says I had chopped bananas in Greek yogurt for breakfast. Mmm, yum yum. Sounds really good. So it's, it's uh, like, is your Greek yogurt, how do you know if your the Greek yogurt that you have is real Greek yogurt? Because I think sometimes I get full, like I, I, I get like, um, I, I think there are Greek style yogurts in, in the market. And then like people tell me like Greek style yogurt is not Greek yogurt. So what, what like, I mean, as a veteran, <laughs> as someone who, who always takes Greek yogurt, like, what, how do you, how does it, like, does it taste any different? I, I don't know. Like, for me, I, I, I been, I feel like I've been taking a lot of, like, Greek style yogurt. So they may not be the real yogurt. It feels more creamy. It feels like it tastes different. Maybe. Listen. <laughs> Oh, Greg says Greek yogurt tastes dry to me. Unpleasant mouthfeel. Like why? Is it because it's? I just feel like it. It's even the Greek style yogurt. They are a bit more thick, so it just feels very um, like you're eating something. You're not like it doesn't feel like feel like yogurt. Um, it feels something. It feels like like eating like a pudding or something. <laughs> and like after that, you get like the kind of a very strong like milky taste to it. It's like a pudding, but it's like kind of strong and milky. I mean, it's not that bad, okay? I quite like um, the Greek style, but I'm not sure if that's... I, I guess if it's a Greek style, that, that's what they are trying to provide, right? The feel, the, 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 the whole like, experience. Um, they, they would try to kind of like um, give you that feel with the, ooh, 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 the Greek style yogurt. Yeah, but anyway. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, Nancy says. Oh, maybe of the... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And she says for dinner, sliced potato saute with zucchini and smoked sardines. Ooh, sounds good. Mmm. Sautéing is sometimes, I, I, I think sauté is a very um, quick way to cook stuff if you are like lazy. Like you don't feel like you want to spend time waiting for things to kind of bake, you know, in the, uh, in, in, in the, in the oven. Um, and you just like, you know, you can just sauté stuff really, really quickly in like two minutes. Like, okay lah, not two minutes lah. Three, five, five minutes. And like, wham, it's done. You know, super fast and, and so healthy. I'm not sure if saute is healthy, but yeah, I mean, at least you don't have to like wait for like the baking to happen. Like, I, I hate it to, I hate, like, you know, when I, 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 I am not a baker, but when I bake, the thing that I hate the most is like waiting for baking to be done. <laughs> Like, I, I think it can't be helped, you know? Yeah. Ah, and, and Greg says, or oh, maybe it's a higher protein content. You prefer, ah, oh, favorite yogurt? Okay, Greek yogurt is thicker in texture. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. I think so. Like, I feel like it's, oh no, what did I just do? Okay, I, I accidentally smudged this. Oh, let me see if I can remove it. Oh no, hold on for a minute. Ah! Greg goes, no, you no. <laughs> Let's see if I can like remove this, okay. I wanna try to remove this with uh, distilled water. 
Scrap, scrap, scrap! Ah. Oh no! I can't remove it! Ah. There's a limit to how much I can remove. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> The biggest betrayal working working with deep pens. Yeah, the the deep pen does its weird stuff. Like why does it do that? Why did it oh why did I go through it when it's still wet? Oh my god. But it does, yeah, as you say, right? Happy accident. <laughs> Bob like Rob Rob Bob Ross? He's a kind of a he he's he's a trendsetter. Like everyone was a trendsetter, but he he affected he he affected all these like the whole culture you know with with uh, you know um um art art education um and like i i think it's like kind of influential but it's just kind of sad like he passed before he got that famous um yeah so i think he got famous during the pandemic because people had nothing to watch and they're like kind of like watching him paint um yeah i don't remember i i only knew of him when 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 during that time when when you know when people were like just kind of stuck at home and nothing to do so they watch him and i think he's 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 kind of fun like he he is always so so positive and he's always painting his happy tree and and happy shrubs and stuff and everything like there's happy accidents and, and stuff like that so yeah wow <laughs> oh he's famous Oh, I didn't know he, he is famous. Like, at least for us, he wasn't that famous because we didn't know of him. I guess for people in the States, he would be famous because he, he's someone that you guys probably watch, you know, um, when, when you guys were younger. Um, yeah, in Singapore, I mean, or at least like in Asia, he, he is like kind of unknown until like, you know, pandemic time and then everyone's kind of watching stuff and he just kind of like turn up. Like he just kind of, appear you know in the in the in the world in, in the art world suddenly taken the art world by storm again <laughs> so i'm just adding a bit of like texture to this i don't know i'm trying my best oh he was okay greg says i think i remember my aunt and mom following his tutorial oh he's on saturday morning afternoon tv ah, okay okay so you guys would have like had a um, very good education in like um, in acrylic. Wow, that's pretty awesome. But I don't think we, we have any um, of these kind of like um, visual television shows when, when I was young. I don't think I remember watching any arts and crafts stuff. Like it's just not big, right? If, if they were to teach you something on, on the TV, right? It's always about like, oh, how do you do multiplication faster? uh like you know science stuff it's never like i think it's in asia southeast asia asia um arts is not something that is very it's, it's emphasized like people would like think it's yeah it's good for you to just try it but they would never do it on national tv i think i don't know anyway so that's that's about how like artists in uh, in asia um uh, this is kind of a recurring topic for us sometimes that we talk about like how um you know uh, you, you it's always very very hard to be do art in asia yeah that's how it is okay so i i'm doing the same thing i'm, I'm just trying to get some of these details in there so this is gonna be like i think my style like the loose um kind of a style um yeah so i'm not sure how this would turn up in the end but i hope they'll be good okay and i am really hoping like the ink will stay <laughs> yeah because i did a few tests with this ink and you can't overwork it with watercolor like it does like you can use watercolor with it but you can't overwork meaning uh you should try not to scrub too much with the ink um, or you get like uh, it will come off like how you know how this came off uh, yeah it's good and it's bad I think like I feel like it's it's actually not that bad if you use it at a lower like concentration um, yeah if you use like tons of it like quite thickly it might give you some issues 
uh, in terms of like, you know, being able to get it out. Oh, this is so wonky. But it's okay, I'm gonna leave it like kind of like weird and wonky anyway. So Okay. Hey, Red Knight! Yo, RK! You just got back from the airport? Where do you go? Do you go for a trip? Hi, welcome, welcome! Or oh, are you, like, are you doing a, a holiday right now? Are you away? Nice to see you, like, thanks for joining, even though you are, like, kind of traveling and, and just came back from, from, from holiday. Is it a holiday that you went to? <laughs> thanks for joining! Where do you go? Where did you and Senior go? Did Senior go with you? Okay, so today I, I um, was like, I was, I actually polled uh, people um, and we decided to do, like the poll didn't work because it was 50-50 for dip pen and, and, uh, and watercolor. It was like four votes and it was like 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> In the end, we flipped. <laughs> we flipped the coin as suggested by Caffeine, right? And yeah, and, and we, we arrived at doing dip pen. So I'm using dip pen today. Did I use dip pen the last time? I think I did. Like, remember the last time when we did the um, the dragon, right? I was using dip pen as well, but I was, like this time I'm using a different dip pen. I'm using the Hokoro. Uh, and it's uh, interesting because you could actually change the nib here, okay? Um, but this is a true, like your regular dip pen, except that this is today. So it's a different nib. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Nancy says, there were two or three artists. One of them was female by the name of Priscilla Hauser, who did one stroke painting. Ooh, one stroke print painting sounds interesting. And then a uh, folk painting plus Jason Alexander, who had an Austrian accent oils. All on national TV. Wow. Okay. I'm so jealous. <laughs> like the only thing that we get on TV is like Sesame Street. Um... Yeah, we don't get this stuff. Like, you guys are so lucky. Mm hmm I don't think, like... I think even now, like, now we might see, like, reruns. Like, we get tons of cartoons, though. Like, uh, yeah, like, get, we get Care Bears. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Care Bears. They are, like, super, like... Uh, uh, what do you call that? Like, old, like, uh, vintage <laughs> cartoon. I used to uh, wake up on Saturday and Sunday mornings to watch um, them. So I'm not sure if anyone here knows the Care Bears. Like, am I the only one who knows Care Bears? Uh-huh. Oh, Greg says, Fate picks the pen, the pen and fix. <laughs> Fate also added a splash of ink for texture. <laughs> like this one over here, right? But I think it's, it would be nice. Like, I like it. I feel like um, that is how I like my paintings to look. I probably am not the super uh, careful kind. I feel like the older I get, um, the less, um, the less neat I am with drawing. I, I feel like I've seen this with a lot of artists as well. Like they used to be like so neat and you'd see them with very neat drawings and stuff. And then once they get older, things just kind of, I would say it gets worse, but it's just a different way of expression. I feel like, you know, it's actually okay. Like, you could change the way um, you paint. You could change the way you want to do stuff. Um, it's actually fine, you know. Because you learn, you get... You, you, you know things better. Oh, that's a long time ago. Ah, okay. Yeah, it is. Um, but are, do, are they still on TV now? Or it's, it's just like a thing of a past right now? Like, do people watch TV now? I'm just wondering, like, if people do watch... Because I feel like the kids, like all people nowadays, just go to YouTube all the time. Like um, my nephews, um, I have some like nephew in laws. I don't know that like 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 nephews from the like kids from the cousins, um, and they don't they don't watch TV anymore. Like you know, and and they are all on like YouTube. They are watching YouTube videos and they're playing games. You know. So I think it's it's very different now, and it's it's kind of like it, you know I don't understand how how that you know it's just something that we can't we we, we, we I, I can't think I can't understand like how that would affect in in the future you know people um yeah and educations and stuff. So my like now the cat looks a bit chunky. He's a fat one, <laughs> a fat shaming the cat. So that's that's him just sitting there. Oh, you guys can't see it. Sorry, catty. I just did the cat. 
Hey, I'm gonna. Oh, Mick, I forgot his tail. So I'm just gonna give him like a spotted tail, and then I'm I'm just going to do a little shadow of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Greg says I am so thorn thorn between uh torn between two both types. I love neat, careful work, and then also uh you love or, or with brush strokes and lack of planning and then end up with an awkward middle yeah i think i think you have to decide like in when you're doing when you are painting you've got to decide where you are where you want to do it but i think there's also there is a middle ground in the sense that you could actually do the background more loose um you know the, the background scene and then for people like in front you do have maybe animals or you have people um figures you could do it a little bit more um neat and and careful so i i think that's something that i i, I also struggled a lot when i was starting out as an artist i mean i'm not i mean yeah in, in my in my journey um it's something that i actually go through a lot with and i i had to like you know ask myself do i want this to be in in this particular way do i want this to be um, you know, neat. Do I want this to be, um, you know, uh, careful? Um, and and somehow, you know, I feel like I'm more the 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 loose and 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 whatever kind. You know, like I, I just I just want to get a paper. I just want to get an ink in. I just want to get to see like interesting lines. I'm not gonna care too much. Um, yeah, so I think it, you 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 got to try both and and you got to decide. You know, like if you are doing a piece, think about how to how to put them all together. If you can't, you go to, you got to decide. Um, yeah, I think it. You know, it's important. Like in in your in your while you're like trying to find your style to decide. You know, uh, at this point, um, try to figure out like what's good for you, what works for you, what makes you happy, uh, what makes you want to draw more. Yeah, so I I, I think for me. I'm starting to realize that I'm more like a like a messy person and a kind of carefree carefree uh, painter than I am like a you know the botanic you know how some botanical artists they they just are so careful they spend so much time I think like Ari style yeah so I think Ari is a very good 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 um, example of a person who does it really really carefully he has all these layers and I even know some people who actually make like dilutions and then they follow the dilutions. So I, I can never do that. I, I just paint. I don't even think too much. So I, I think it's, it's actually okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I never watch TV. It's YouTube for visual entertainment. <laughs> Wonderful cat. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I, I, may, I think the cat is pretty cute as well. Oh, yeah. I know, right? That first sketchbook. So I first started off being like super careful. Being like, I, I want to capture everything properly. So it was it was really really like interesting to see how my style has kind of like changed, but it's also that style that that kind of made me I won't say popular but it people kind of noticed me because I was like very very um, careful and I, I I I am yeah I feel like as as I become change the style, you know it it just gets a bit like. It's a, there's a bit of a conflict in the sense that you you are progressing, but it's not, you know, you started to lose people who, ah, more happy accidents. <laughs> you started to lose people who appreciate you for like your earlier style. So I think every artist has this issue, has this problem. Um, and I think there's no easy way out. The most important thing is you should do what you like, you know, like I don't think you should do something because other people like it. I mean, of course, if you are earning like a lot of money from it um, and you are famous for doing this, um, yeah, then no choice. You have to do it if you need to, you know, earn some money. But most importantly is just developing yourself, like, um, yeah, learning to be a better artist, uh, doing what you like uh, as an artist um, and not caring so much. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I may not make sense there okay yeah i am i am i'm getting more and more relaxed um as i go right my my stuff is just super relaxed right now um but i think i quite like this style i feel like this is probably more me um than the uh, careful so which is why i think I, I i mentioned that i have some conflict um i, I, I had some issue with my 
flowers because I feel like my flowers, um, you know, when I started painting, I wanted to do like a botanical style. You know, the first, you know, when we got, we decided that, okay, we're going to do uh, botanics, bot botanicals. I, I was like in my mind, like, oh, hey, I want to learn or I want to try to paint like those people who, who paints botanics, uh, botanicals. Um, you know, it, it, as, as like a, you know, like scientific painting kind of thing. But then as I go, you know, as I try, <laughs> I realize it's so difficult because I, I just don't feel it. It's just not my, not my style. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's, uh, it's tough. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and Greg says, I, if you ever change from your current style, I'm never watching a stream again. No! <laughs> Don't be so extreme. <laughs> what style are you talking about? Luckily for me, I think my style is um, yeah. I don't know if you guys are familiar with like my old like super neat style. Um, yeah, I think I shown you guys right like the the the, the uh, stuff that I did um, for uh, when I first started with urban sketching and I was like just sketching by myself. In, uh, and, and yeah, those are the things that I did, like super duper uh, careful and, and stuff like that. So now it's, uh, I think I would not do too much about like the, the grow, the, the, the plant that's growing at the side because I think I want to use um, the brush instead, okay, for, for this. But I think I'm just going to lay out some general lines that's just going like this up and down and then like around so that there is all these like textures texture that's going on okay and then i'm just going to make sure that i also try to get like a bit of like the black going on here so the good thing about the um the pen set is that it does give you quite a lot of like um you know uh variation you could just do whatever you want um so I think I would have to like kind of paint this down a little bit. Um, hold on, hold on. What else? I need to, to actually work a, a lot on the plant. So, so there, so there's the plant. Okay. So I will actually use like more watercolor over here. And then, um, yeah, just very quickly, uh, just draw out these like lines like the outlines of these portions of the stairs and there's this big fat cat that's sitting in the foreground just having these lines go through like this right and then i'm gonna paint <laughs> finally painting okay so give me a moment while i um need to do you think i need to do oh hold on Greg says, I am, I'm almost done with the last page of the watercolor sketchbook I've been working on since 2022. Oh, that's great. You want to share with us? You'd like to share with us? You do a little like uh, show and tell uh, for our, you know, the money show and tell that we have. We all love to see your artwork. But is it just like the urban sketching things that you do? Or do, it's also like, you know, things that you, you other stuff that you painted. Be interesting to see. Do share with us if you don't mind, okay? I really want to see other people's artwork. I feel like, you know, for our live stream, like, it's just me talking sometimes. And I, I just feel like it's not so much a community thing because, you know, how, um, as Urban Sketches, I mean, sorry, how we call this, like, show and tell sometimes. But I feel like sometimes it's just, it's just not show and tell. It's just me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, hello, Eileen. So, Eileen over here. Everyone say hello to Siok Art. <laughs> that one, Eileen Ong over there is Siok Art. So, everybody say hello to Siok Art. Hi, everybody. Say, say hello to Siok. I'm so sorry. Howdy, howdy. So, that is Siok Art. Um, Siok Art, I actually have this one. I have the ultramarine blue as well. Beep, beep. And I'm going to use it today um, because of like how you fit back on like the, the, the sketch that you do. You actually did a painting. So Ali did a painting or Siok Art did a painting. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the right way to use it though. So <laughs> I'm just gonna... Ali, is that how you use it? Or Siok Art, is that how you use it? Do you like just use it like a crayon or something? 
<sighs> oh, 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 Greg says he's got a bit of everything. In fact, the very first. Oh, I listen in Palette! Yay! Oh, what? You should. Which one was it? Which which one was it when you started? Like, you. I remember you were in the live stream, but you were pretty quiet, I think. Um, like you, you, I remember like we, we actually got to know you much better after we did like a little game. So we did like a drawing game with Ari and then that time Ari was really <laughs> so into the games. Um, and he was like, Hey, we should play a game, be fun. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I think luckily we did it because then that was when like, um, uh, you know, our dear Greg woke out of his shell and he started playing with us i remember that was that was when it happened oh it was in the november 2022 okay wow that was oh, it's almost like one and a half years like it's so crazy right how time flies and i think nancy is probably here longer than anyone of us she's like kind of my first audience and she's still here so i'm so grateful to nancy like i cannot be more grateful to nancy she's super super supportive and she's like yeah always there like we can always count on and see so yeah i really really appreciate you people so there um okay this is not gonna be i i hope this is watercolor okay if it's not i'm gonna i don't know i might kill myself okay let's go let's paint this <laughs> oh there's a lot of image you could do a video like if you want to you could just do a little quick flip like you could just um like set your camera to like the lowest resolution and then you just do a quick flip through um and you could post it on discord and i could like post this um on uh you know could share it i could share it during our show our our show and tell i think it'd be fun like we could do a little like artist recap like just just to see like how you have progressed through the years how you got to know this um the the community and and things like that i think it'd be fun um to do it so yeah try to take like quick short videos like you shouldn't take too long no <laughs> i feel like sometimes like there is a way to do so um like videos sometimes do give you more information um like it's faster to 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 get like the information out like if you're gonna take picture imagine all those pictures you've got to like upload it's gonna take a while so this is how it currently looks i'm gonna use other watercolors right now mm, i'm gonna use my a hold on is this the one okay i'm gonna use i hope this is the normal okay i i'm not sure if this is the dark version okay Okay, I'm just gonna let the color just loose it, sit on it. Like, no, wait, hold on. Let me change it. Oh, Nancy says, I can't help you on that one. I used to be able to do videos when I had PC. Oh, what happened to your PC? Do you not have your PC for a while already, Nancy? Okay, so I am using the Shin Han. Um, this is the ultramarine light, so it's a slightly different ultramarine. It's a lighter, like a kind of a lighter version. Like it's a more. It's not so. I like the. I like the. Um, what is that word? Um, I like the stick because it does give quite a like a bit of texture, as you as you can see. So I I I am fi I'm feeling like this is looking good in the sense that you know the color like I could see the the um, differences in the ultramarine dark and ultramarine light deep sorry ultramarine light and ultramarine deep so they are kind of different like I think the good thing is you could also still go through it like I could still if I want to go through uh, like the painting uh, with the with the with the crayon if I want to the the what's that word crayon watercolor stick if I want to yeah so I'm gonna get a bit of that in here so I'm not gonna use too much of uh, color we're gonna get a bit of texture too oh you're on a Chromebook oh okay you have to figure out how to create videos on this thing so I am I actually create videos um, using uh, an app 
you know those um what do you call that those apps um what's that word uh the I, I use it D-L-L-O, okay, I don't know if, if there is, like you, I think there is such a app.
Hello? Is it better? Can you guys hear me? Is it better? I hope you guys can hear. Can you hear? Hey! <laughs> okay, phew! <laughs> Like a, sorry, sorry. I think it's too loud. Sorry for that. Oh my god. So I think that there is a mixer on my camera. No, no, on my on, on StreamYard. And then the Yati Nano one just pop, just disappeared. So I had to like add it in. So I had to add a, like an audio input capture. <sighs> Woo! Wee! <laughs> I'm so happy that I managed to get to work. Phew! You know, that's the thing about like um, doing live streams sometimes that makes me scared <laughs> when stuff like this happen. Huh? Quiet now? Huh? Is it better? Like I... Okay, hello? Hello! Is it better now? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Let me know if it's okay, okay? Hello, people. Let me know if it's okay now. Is it still... Is it better? Is it stronger? Oh no. Hello? Hello? Yeah, better? Okay, I have to turn this up. Like, let me turn this up. Hello? 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 <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, where am I? Okay, I'm supposed... Oh. Oh my god, I hear myself. Hold on for a minute. Huh? Why am I hearing myself? Hello? Hello? Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Strange. Something is not right with the with the sound today, okay? So anyway, oh, it's 10 o'clock, so I think I'm kind of almost done. I would say that this is done, done, right? But I think what I'll need to do is to um, make this. You guys can hear me, right? <laughs> so this is not done, done, right? It's like, I would say 60% done. I will probably need to add more um, the branches over there. I need to add more branches here to over this part with the with the ink with the with the pen. I mean with the with the brushes. <laughs> I'm on the stream. <laughs> no, I, I do I do stream, but I stream on Instagram. And when I stream on Instagram, it's in the morning as well. So if you guys want to join me, you can join me uh, on Instagram tomorrow morning. Where I'll do like the short run challenge. Um, but I will be like doing continuous line tomorrow. So I'll be like drawing with what, like one line from stop, start to the end. Thanks Housewoman. Thank you. Thanks for joining. It's always nice to see um, like familiar faces and um, like to reconnect with people like um, who has been with me for so long. So thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, the Shepard Challenge. So if you go to Eureka 1, so if you go to Instagram and you look for Eureka 1, E-U-R-E-C-A 1, I'm going to just type it here. E U R E C A one. So that's my handle on uh, Instagram. She go in and I would do like a live stream on Instagram, and then uh, I would doing to be doing continuous line for the short front challenge. And I haven't decided on what short front I'm doing today tomorrow. Um, yeah, but there you go. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, I I quite like this one. I mean, it's okay. Like I I would. I mean, this would be like my usual style, you know, like getting the lines down and then ink and wash. I quite like the, all this texture. Like I, I, this, this stick, right, does give you some texture. Um, and you, you, it's kind of interesting. Like it's like granulation kind of, but it's a little bit more strong. And you can actually go over it as well if you want to. So I don't know. I feel like this one is a little bit like dry. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. <laughs> anyway. Yay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. I, I, I'm happy you like the cat. I kind of make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> and I will probably make this a bit nicer. I might add some other colors to it, like pop uh, with like gouache or with color pencils or with something that is um, like a marker. Maybe I'll use a marker on, on this so that it will pop because you know like the sides of the um, like the, the, the railings. Like this is red, this is red and there's some like yellow leaves going on. So yeah, I might take change this to something else. <laughs> but I'll see how that goes. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks, Greg, Kathleen, Nancy's housewoman. Um, yeah, yes, bro. <laughs> and whoever's watching, I think Eileen K just like a while ago, and there's RK, uh, Red Knight, who came from the the, the airport. You know, like uh, he he is so nice. Like he is busy, but yet he joins. 
<laughs> and your excess something Parisian about the vibes, not the ah, not the subject for the energy of the line up. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's always nice to to do this. I think this is something that I think I'll explore more. I feel like this is gonna be my style. Um, as an artist, you know, because I've been like trying out different styles and stuff, so this is something that I really want to focus on uh, as an artist. So anyway, thank you very much. Yeah, get well soon, Greg. I hope you'll be up and running with your dogs tomorrow. Your dog tomorrow, um, and everyone else, enjoy the weekend. Um, have fun, and it's uh, hopefully springtime. You guys get to go out and uh, you know enjoy the good weather. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. See you guys again uh, next week. And next week I'll be doing the portrait. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. What? Hold on. You're about to take him on his walk. What time is it right now? Like, mm, evening? <laughs> anyway, okay. Enjoy the walk. Bye, everybody. See ya. Night-night. Oh, no. Good morning. <laughs> Whatever.